ready to go. There you go, yo. I gotta get my car. Car is going. Just let it go. We got an extra garment. What's up? I know America's about to be destroyed. Then what y'all think about that? Yeah, that's we in that spirit tonight. I feel it's a raw spirit. How you something under your breath? Yeah, yeah big homosexual. Hey, the scriptures say, uh, "You shall be saved." You shall be saved. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this far left liberal lunatic right here. That's what that guy was, he's a big flaming faggot. Everywhere you look is fucking flaming faggots and fucking homosexuals. They're whores. they whores, you know what I mean? What? I guess a whore is better than a faggot. I don't know how much better. <laughs> I mean, because back in the day, was, you just had whores, you know what I mean? They, they, they came to faggots. Now we got all kind of faggots. All the men are a bunch of weak little bitches, man. A bunch of homosexuals. You want to get me on camera? Yeah, you can get me on. You can uh, take pictures of this romanticide. I'm a raping bitch. Hey, hey, look, I told you I had some information. You want to bring it out? Let's bring it out. Hey, we're, hey, we're gonna read. What's up, devil? Hey, you know America's about to be destroyed. You know, yeah, that's a nice. Here it goes Snowden. Hey, what's up, Snowden? Here it go, hey, go Snowden. Here it goes Snowden. Snowden. <laughs> Better not let the NSA see you. <laughs> what's up, y'all know America's about to be destroyed? Did you I know? Heard. Yeah, man. He heard. Yeah, y'all go. Yeah, you ain't. You ain't, if you ain't right, you gonna get burnt the fuck up. That's all, the all there is to it. That so Israel into slavery. They yeah, there was some. There was some old raggedy ass Africans. They came over here to come. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Cause black people's not Africans. This goes right into what I was talking about. You know, you know, black people ain't come from Africa. Y'all some dumb ass fucking stupid people. So y'all didn't know that. They come from Israel. And the Lord is only dealing with Israel. Hey, give me job 16. We gonna we gonna read the most famous Bible scripture. Of this. Yeah, it's infamous. We gonna read since y'all love since y'all love John 316. We gonna read John 316. Hey, they're going to Black Stephen Hawkins. Get him on camera. No, I ain't pointing. Nah, get, camera, that, get him on camera, man. Don't be scared. To be a journalist, you must have no fear. Okay. You gonna come and attack you now? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, John 3, 16. For the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay, so so read that again. Read that again one more time, please, okay. please. For, for the Most High so loved the world. So loved the world. So now, you re when you read the Bible, this is an English Bible that we're reading. Did you know that the Bible was not originally written in English? It was written, the New Testament was written in Greek. Okay? So when you read this in the Greek, the world, world ain't there because that ain't Greek. It says cosmos. Okay, it has the word cosmos. And what does the word cosmos mean? Look, I found this article on the internet. Check this out. This is what I was telling you about. This was an article on Reddit. Somebody posted this on Reddit. All right. But let me read this. Now it said, hey, read that John 3.16 one more time. John 3.16. For the most high so loved the world. It says, so, so people try to use this scripture to say that, the, uh, that God uh, loves everybody and that every nation on earth can be saved 
and that everybody can make it. And that's a lie. The Bible don't say that. So they take this uh, scripture out of context to say that the, that the heathens can be saved. And to say that the Edomites and Moabites can be saved. But the Bible says only Israelites can receive salvation. Because the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. And this scripture right here is talking that world is the nation of Israel. Because it don't say world in the Greek. It says cosmos. Okay, cosmos. And let this goddamn coat of us go by before I read the definition. Goddamn coat. This goddamn coat. Look at that coat of us on camera. I pray to the most high. Okay, in the name of Yahweh Shai, that he destroys the goddamn coat of us and all them raggedy ass people on the coat of us. I'll go ahead, he got a script. This is good, this is good art to watch. The only reason it is. Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. So Israel shall be saved. Okay, you know the Lord is only dealing with Israel. Okay, you know that? The Lord is only dealing with Israel. Keep going. Read that again. Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with that everlasting salvation. Israel, where Israel? Okay, people on his son. The Lord's chosen people. Lord. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So yeah, so we ain't gonna be confounded. Ain't nobody gonna come up here and rebuke anything we have to say. We're gonna rebuke them. We'll curse your ass out and send you on your way. You know what I'm saying? And what's that world in the New Testament uh, or Old Testament? Is that Eon? Yeah, well Eon means ages. Right, right, that's without end. Oh yeah. Or ages. Never world ended. without end, age yeah. without end. That's a bad scripture though. Wait, even, yeah. yeah. That world. Yeah. 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 But check this out. But, check, but watch this. Now, read John 3.16 one more time. And we're going to title this video John 3.16. <laughs> That's going to get a million views, yeah. man. Yeah. Overnight. <laughs> you know, America's going to be destroyed. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> watch, watch. I mean, it's the most. Right, 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 right. It's the number one Bible John scripture. It really is the king of all Bible scriptures. No, no, I mean, it is a good scripture, though, when you break it down properly. Yeah, it's a very good scripture. It's a very good scripture. <laughs> oh, go ahead. John 3, 16. For the most high Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. His only begotten son. So this proves that the one you call Christ, Yahweh Shai, that he's the son of the, he's not the most high, he's the son of the most high. Okay, keep going. That whosoever believeth in him. Whosoever. They'll be like, whosoever. Yeah, 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 whosoever. That who, the only people capable of believing in the Lord is an Israelite. Okay, it's not an Edomite spirit or a Moabite spirit or a Canaanite spirit to believe in the Most High. It's not going to happen. It's not, it, they weren't designed for that purpose. They're not on that same spiritual vibration as us. So all, each heathen nation got their own vibration. And Israel's vibration is a spiritual vibration to praise the Lord. The mother nations don't care about praising the Lord. It's not in their spirit. They ain't making gospel music, singing hymns. You know what I'm saying? If you ever listen to some African music, you ever listen to some goddamn Arab music, you may, ain't, ain't nobody gonna be listening to that. If you play that shit in your house, your mom will curse you out. Turn that bullshit off. You hear that Hindu shit. Yeah, man. hear that Hindu music. Man, ding, 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 you, ding, ding. if you play that Hindu music, you gonna every your neighbors are gonna come against you, knock on your door, and like turn that shit off. Yeah, they're gonna call the cops on you for playing that bullshit. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit, man. So that's proof that they ain't the Lord's people. Cause the Lord's people make the best music. Rhythm. We make rhythm from, you know what I'm saying? From Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix the best guitar player ever. Ain't nobody came close since. You know what I'm saying? I'll oh, go ahead. Okay. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So everlasting life. So this word is everlasting life. Okay, so it says, so God so loved the world. And they also see that means Edomites and Canaanites can be saved. No, it doesn't. Like I said, you looked at word world up in the Greek. It says cosmos. 
Now let me read this. Like I said, this is an article on Reddit. And this is the etymology and the definition of cosmos. It says the opposite of chaos is cosmos. Mm. Now check this out. It said a complex and orderly system such as our universe, the opposite of chaos. This is cosmos. Is a, a, this is cosmos is a complex, well-ordered and unified system usually referring to the world of human experience and to the universe as a whole. The verb in Greek, this is what cosmos means in Greek. This is that word in John 3.16. It said the verb in Greek means to put in order. So what's the proper order according to the Bible? It's the time. It's the scriptures, the law. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Starting with the Ten Commandments. Then you got all the other laws. From the book of uh, Genesis all the way. You know what I'm saying? The whole Bible. Order. That's order. order. And Corinthians, first Corinthians speaks of order. Hey, get that scripture for that order. I got this too. All right, it says the verb in Greek means to put in order. Oh, yo, check this out. This is proof of what the word cosmos means. Now, check this out. In Greek, the word cosmos means to put in order and to adorn. L listen to this. Hence the word cosmetic. So from cos cosmos is where you get the word cosmetic. Because you get a cosmetic surgery, what does that mean? Mm. Yeah, you mean you put your face in order to fix your face. You know what I'm saying? And so cosmos don't mean the whole world. It means order. And the only order is the orders of the most high. Okay, because like I said, you have, in something, there was something in the Greek society known as chaos and order. But, they didn't, but it was chaos and cosmos. It's like, you ever read a uh, Marvel comic books, they got the characters, chaos and order? You know what I'm saying? They got, but that's what you got, you got, so what, what's, chaos is the devil, okay? That, that's Satan. That's the heathens, the Canaanites worship Baal, that's the devil, that's Satan. The Edomites are the devil, okay? The Illuminati, okay, that's the devil, that's Satan. The Rothschilds are Satan. The so-called Jews, that's chaos. A so-called Jew trying to tell us what to do, that, that, that's, that's chaos, okay? America's chaos. Chaos is synonymous with the word Babel, the word Babylon, okay? Just like America is Babylon. That's confusion, that's chaos. America is chaos. That's why the Bible refers to America in the book of Revelation as the seat of Satan. It's where Satan dwelleth. Ain't that where it says where Satan's seat is? Hey, get that. Give me a Revelation. Where's that at? Uh, yeah, get that. Yeah, you need to get, uh, get bring that Corinthians out. First Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things, and keep the ordained as I delivered them to you. Also, so, oh, do we read that again. First Corinthians 11 and 2. Now listen to this. This is, listen to the words. Just let, read it. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things. In all things, he loved. And keep the ordinances. The ordinances. Ordinances. What order? Like I said, chaos and order. Or chaos and cosmos. Cosmos means order. Chaos, you got chaos, and then you got the cosmos. Hey, look, when, hey, you, when you go in those other languages, man, you get deeper in the scriptures, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's bad, man. Oh, uh, what you got, more than that? Ah, he going off with that order. That's order. Order. Why did you get order out of world? <laughs> yeah, you know, man, people look like stuck with stupid, man. Hey, hey, let me read the rest of this real quick, just real quick. It says, uh, the classical Greeks define reality as a homogenous, ordered whole. In contrast, modern Western culture has tended to view reality dualistically, splitting it into subject and object, humanity, nature, mind, and matter. Hold on a second. This is a point right here. Check this out. But that's that bad right there. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's, it's telling you that there's a separation again. Yep. It says contemporary thinkers who attempt to reclaim the universe as cosmos, because they try to say the cosmos, like they got a new TV show called Cosmos. They try to refer, refer to the whole universe as the cosmos. Well, actually it is because it's the most high created everything. 
and he put that order in effect. You know what I'm saying? But you try, that's why that John 3, 16, when it says cosmos, when God so loved the, so loved the world or so loved the cosmos, okay? He didn't say the whole world and every nation of people. He didn't say that. Okay. How the hell they get that? You, know, you can obviously see that the majority of the nations of the planet don't care less about the world. All right, check this out. Right. Contemporary yes. thinkers who attempt to reclaim the universe as cosmos has been forced to abandon the fixed structure of classical cosmologies in light of the pervasively evolutionary character of the universe revealed by modern science. Nonetheless, such thinkers, whether they're religious or secular, shared the desire of the ancient Greeks to provide a consistent and meaningful framework for the world of human experience by relating it to the principles governing the all reality, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. The point is that cosmos means order. I just thought I'd bring that out because you, uh, because we already knew that the word cosmos in John 3.16 wasn't talking about the whole world because the elders taught it to us. But then you got people who don't believe it. They're like, that's not, cosmos is everything. But that's not true. You know what I'm saying? That's proof right here. <laughs> they, right, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you watch the Cosmos with Carl Sagan? Bullshit. Hey, where, where, where's that? Or that faggot? Oh, this is Revelation 2 and 13. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan seated. Oh, shit. You see that? Where Satan, that's the chaos. Like I said, Satan seat is an American. Do you know that this is the kingdom of Satan? America is the kingdom of Satan. Did you know that? Excuse me, did you know that America is the kingdom of Satan? The, the kingdom of devil work. Baal. That's what this is. It's the kingdom of Baal. Of, it's, it's for Babylon the Great. Baal, no way. Let me ask you a question. Did you know America is the kingdom of Satan? Did you know that? What's that? Well, they might know. Let me ask you. In America, I'm about to get me a degree, buddy. Oh, she's about to get that degree. A degree? God damn, what's that? Some Freemason shit. A degree? A degree? What does that mean, a degree? A measurement? A degree's a measurement, ain't it? An angle? You get an angle. Y'all know America's the kingdom of Satan? And God's going to destroy it from the face of the earth? So y'all didn't know that. Fuck. Revelation 2 and 13. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. So Satan's seat, See, originally that was talking about the Roman Empire. Remember the book of John, excuse me, the book of Revelation was written by John. And he was in prison on the Isle of Patmos, in prison by the Romans. Yeah, you know America's about to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? All, this whole land is going to get laid waste. He got claim. He claimed him a weirdo. I'm gonna give me some weirdo bitches too. I like some of the weirdo bitches. I do too. They're very, they're very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. So she showed you a little skin. Look, mm -hmm. she showed. She saw you look there. She gave you some skin. Right. Yeah, I was. She did too. She tried to flaunt it. It has. She's out working. Oh, that bitch is Israelite. It's usually the Israelite bitches are all got the crazy styles. So they got the craziest styles and outfits you've ever seen. Yep. It has not denied my faith, even in those days where in Antipas was my faithful martyr who was slain among you, where Satan dwelt. Where is Satan's well? You know Satan's wells in America. That's where Satan dwells. I mean, he's all over the earth, but this is his capital. This is an HQ. Right, right, right. America's the HQ of Satan. You know that? Say, this is, hey, read that scripture again. One more time. You need to get a hot for it.
Where do you get those left names? Hmm. What, what name? There's, 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 oh, Judah, Benjamin, yeah. Levi. Those, yeah, those are the 12 tribes of Israel listening in the Holy Bible. What's your next name? The Irish. That's just confusion. But a lot, there see, ain't no such thing as mixing. Cause what it is though in America, like a lot of people don't know where the fuck they came from. Yeah. Well, a lot of people. They, a lot of Irish. Yeah. Italian. So you more likely you probably you probably one of them anyway. That's part. Of, if you say you, that's pretty much you don't even know. That's part of the curse. That's a curse. You got a lot of people there able to trace their line back, you know, uh, 400 years. These real rich people, they can trace their lines back, boy. That, that, that don't sound like this. No, that don't sound like this thing. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, for example, like a, like the Rothschilds. You yeah. heard of the Rothschilds? You never heard of the Rothschilds? Oh, like the family. The Rockefellers? They're the same family, Rockefellers, Rockefellers. We Rockefeller. in England, even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Queen Lee, they're all, they can trace their shit back, all the way back to Esau. You know, you know who Esau is? Esau is the progenitor of the white race. When you read uh, Genesis, the 25th chapter, you know, it's the spirit of Cain that came all the way back into Esau. Well, like I said, who's the progenitor of the football white race? Yeah, because you know who, the, you've heard of the Rothschilds? I mean, the, I don't really know. You ain't up on the conspiracy theory? Right. So they know who they are. So in order to push a lie, you gotta know the truth. Yeah, but Rothschild, Roth means red, okay? And they know that they from the house of Esau, okay? And uh, the Bible tells you, you know, yeah, have you ever heard of Esau? You never heard of Esau. What you got, you know who Jacob is. Do you know who Jacob is? First you gotta know who Jacob is. And you guys gotta get the truth, bro. That's, that's what I was getting at. That's exactly what I was getting to. Yeah, because yeah, if you don't know who Jacob is, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. That, and from him is where you get the 12 tribes of Israel. But Jacob had a had an evil brother named Esau, okay? A twin brother. They were born at the same time. But they're not identical. Yeah. You, I mean, you everybody heard that, especially when you've seen twins. You know, I used to do it all the time. Like, I used to ask them, which one of y'all the evil twin? You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta say, I get it. It's just a, just, you always hear about one of the twins the is always evil the evil one. Just like, like I always say, you ever play Metal Gear? Oh, no. Oh, you never play that game? You had Liquid Snake Diamond. That's my shit. Yeah, the evil twin. The very first one was my favorite Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're referencing all this from the old. Oh, yeah, but it goes, it, it goes to the New Testament talks about it also. Hey, go ahead and read it. Here you go, this is Genesis 25. And I'm going to start at 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. All right, so Isaac, you know who Abraham is, right? Everybody knows who Abraham is. So Abraham had a son named Isaac, okay? And that was the carry, the chosen line went through Abraham to Isaac. And Isaac had two sons, Jacob and Esau. And Isaac's wife was Rebecca, okay? So read that again. Uh -huh. Did Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. That's those twins, that's Jacob and Esau. They was fighting inside of her womb. And she said, and she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Now, this is what the Lord said before they were even born. He gone. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. And this is a problem. The Lord, before they even born, the Lord's going to tell them what's going to happen to them. He gone. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy mouth. Two manner of people. Two totally different nations. Okay? He gone. And the one people shall be stronger then the other people, that's Israel, and the elder shall serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger. Now the elder was Esau. Esau was born first, okay, and he shall serve the younger, which is Jacob. And that's in the that's talking. That's prophesying.
about the kingdom of heaven. That, that we ain't got there yet. Because right. right now we are under Esau. I'll keep going. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red. Came out red. That's why I was talking about Rothschild. That's why his name is Rothschild Red. It goes back to Esau. Because actually his name used to be, uh, what was it, Bauer. And then he, he actually changed his name to Rothschild. Red Shield. Yeah, Red Shield or Red Child. Probably you can take it either way. The badge of police officers wear? That's a badge that's ripping together. The badge of police officers. So these, you said Esau, that's Israel? No, yeah, that, yeah, the the so-called Jews living in Israel right now, they're actually Hebrew Edomites. They're, they're not the real Jews. No, yeah, yeah. But you said there was Esau and Jacob. Right. Too. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Like them so-called Jews, they're Edomites. We had a Jew out here on tape admit, and he told us, did they taught him that he was an Edomite up in the synagogue? Mm -hmm. We got it on. We got it. We got a video. It's on YouTube. You can watch it. And he was like, "Yeah, they taught me that up in the temple." Right, right. Here's Deuteronomy seven and six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself. Special. This is talking about Israel. This is the Lord's chosen people. Above all people above, that are upon the face. Above of the all earth. people. Like we just talked about earlier, that's the spirit. Because we just reading, you know John 3.16, right? Everybody knows John 3.16. Everybody knows that. It says, for, that's why they'll think the Lord came to save every nation on earth. But when you looked at, when you look the word world up in uh, John, let's say, for God so loved the world. When the world is talking about Israel. Oh, go ahead. John 3.16. For the that. Most High so loved the world. Now, now, a simple-minded Christian would say that this means God's coming to save all nations, and then they'll say He came to save Edomites too. Right. You know that doesn't make any sense. Right. Okay. Because when you look that word up in the Greek, it says cosmos, and the word cosmos means to put in order. It means a order. Okay. It doesn't it doesn't mean the whole world. Okay. Right. It's That's talking right. about the world of Israel. That whoso believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For the Most High sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Again, he's, he's telling you that he's talking about a specific group of people. It's talking about Israel. By right. using the word world, cosmos, Wait, a specific a, group of that. people. This is uh, Isaiah 35 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. As Israel shall be saved. Okay, so what people don't understand is that Israel is scattered among all nations. Okay, so so it so Israel is the most numerous nation on the face of the earth. There's more Israelites than anybody. But we've been scattered among the heathens. So you're going to have Israelites looking like heathens. Okay, we've got Israelites over in China. You know Bruce Lee's an Israelite? Bruce Lee's an Israelite. So-called okay. Negro. It just looks like a Chinese man. You know? Yep. So, yeah. This oh, bit. this is bad right I'll here. I'll go ahead. This is bad. Oh, this is my bad. Okay. Uh, Isaiah 45, 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. Everlasting. Because you got some people trying to say Israel's done away with. It. Like, you know, a lot of preachers preach that Israel's done away with. Now he's saving the Jews. But it says Israel saved with an everlasting salvation. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Keep going. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world <laughs> without end. World without end, man. Forever and ever. You know what I'm saying? The Lord ain't gonna lie. You say you think Israelites are the only people that can be saved? Well, we know and that. Then, yeah. And because of that, they're the only ones who get well, yeah. it's not privilege. It's, a, it's not a privilege. It's a problem. I'm not like. Yeah, you're right. Enough. He's correct. He's real interested. We are well, understanding. But you're asking a legit, legit question. Yeah, that's a good question. That's, that is a good question. That's exactly what we're talking about. Right. Because that's the actually that's the main thing. With, that's what we commanded. To get, uh, I'm gonna give you the commandments 
in the New Testament when the Lord commanded us to do when we went out. Well, I'm going to give you what he commanded the disciples to do when they went out teaching. Get a, was that Matthew 10, 10 and 5. That's a really, it's, it's to explain, it's like the mission statement. It is the new, correct? Right. Go ahead. Uh, New Testament. Matthew 10 and 5. All right. Matthew 10 and 5. These 12, Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying. Now you say Yahweh Shai. No, that Yahweh Shai is that ancient Hebrew name of Jesus. Because Jesus ain't the Lord's name. That's like the first thing you gotta learn, is that Jesus Christ is a Greek title. It's not the Lord's actual name. Okay, it's a title. Like each country on the planet Earth calls something different. Uh, the Mexicans call him Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, the Greeks call him Isis or Isis or however the hell they say it. The, the Arabs call him Isa. You know what I'm saying? But that, that, none of that's Hebrew. All right. So his name is uh, is Yahweh Shah. Matthew 10 and 5. These twelve Yahweh shot sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. He said, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. That's talking about an actual heathen, okay? Uh, and you can tell a heathen when, when you're around him. You can feel the heathen spirit. You can feel the presence of the heathen. And you know it. Alright? Keep going. And to any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Yeah, because the Samaritans, they just uh, uh, want to be Israelites. They, they were uh, phony. Keep going. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read that one part again, please. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, so that's what the Lord said. He said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Red letters, too. Yeah, that's what red letters is, right? Red letters is the Lord who speaks. That's the Lord who is speaking himself. Red letters. Oh, hold on, I got a precept for you real quick. I got one too. Oh, what you got? This is 2nd Ezra um, 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the party asunder of the times? Oh, this going back into Esau. Well, when shall be the end of the first? Because everything's about Jacob and Esau, okay? Because Jacob, because that's the two main players on the planet Earth. That's right. It's Jacob and Esau. That's the, that's the light and the dark, okay? It is good in the That's bad. what I just thought he was talking about where the, the fake people in the heathens you were saying where those were they're trying to be Israelites. Right. They, they That's some so-called yeah, Jews yeah. in the state of Israel. Don't they call themselves Jewish? Jewish. Jew they wish. They wish. Right. Jewish. Okay. They're trying, they're trying to be just like they're trying to be real people. Well, just like they call themselves. Uh, there's no Jewish in the Bible. Jewish. What do you find Jewish in the Bible? Yeah. Israelis, Israeli, right? yeah, they don't say <laughs> Israelites. They're, they're Israeli. right there, they're not the real Jews. Yeah. They're I mean, telling you in their but that's a secret though, because they, I mean, they got more secrets too, and they tell you that they actually worship Satan. And they they describe Satan. They say that he's. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what some of their spiritual leaders say. And Satan is the most beautiful of all the angels. That's right. Don't they say that's a problem? And, he, he, and, he, and he's a protector. Mm -hmm. I heard this one witch on YouTube talking about how beautiful Satan was and how she seen a vision of Satan wrapping him, wrapping her in his wings. Wow. So what you guys think that is, well, I don't know the word, but there's basically two types of people that came from either of those. Well, three types. There's really three actually types three types, actually. Three types. Well, what I was going to ask is, Nate, like there's obviously a mask of society like what they grow what they grew to and what they're portraying to everyone else and what you're saying people can see or people are blind to it yada yada and they can't change them. That's well, what I'm uh, yeah heathen can't change and you can tell through the spirit that they can't change i want give you an instance now a somali now let's go to a somali you know anybody that wants to live around somali it's not somali it's not right no. Nobody. No, no one. They stink. They fat. When you look at them, their faces like, oh, they just burnt. Now, some of them, some of them, every once in a while, you'll see a lively Somalia. And that's probably one of us that got scattered among the heathens. But, but for the most part, the Somalians are heathens. They're foul people, bro. You, I get what you're You can't be around them, all right? Yeah. They're, they're the bad news just all together. So these so-called Negroes here in America is a totally different nation totally. than those other dark nations. Yeah. 
because that's that's that African bullshit they American. teach. Yeah, African. we African. Well, Somalians is African too. Well, I mean, what you're saying is that coming a race really doesn't matter at all because we all came from one place. Well, it in was, a way, it was yeah. Split by well, two. We don't go into that. Center. And then and those cultures. I mean, what well, you're saying, Somalians, the heathens, that was kind of a more populous heathen culture compared to another. Well, well, it's like, I mean, just because you black don't mean you the same. Not all black people. Well, no, I know. It's like this. Not all black people are the same nation. Okay? Not all Asian people are the same. Hey, a better one. Not all white people. Not all, especially, yeah. No, that's exactly what I Because, like, I surely ain't the same as this fucking uh, uh, Jew motherfucker. Okay? That's definitely not my people. Yeah, or, uh, yeah. It's not my people. A lot of them rich are. White college kids, that's part of those songs. Those songs, which are sororities. And they talk like faggots? Yeah. Fraternities, that's what I'm saying. Uh, those fraternities. They're all a bunch of limp wrists and weaklings. Yeah, there, there's a lot of them are actual Edomites. They're Edomites. They're, they're not our people. They're prisoners. You know what I'm saying? They're not I mean, why, that's why the Irish have been persecuted for so long. You know what I mean? That's correct, correct. Because the Irish, they know they're, they're, they know they're not the same people. Right. The Irish people, they know they're light skinned and black people. That's all they are. You know what I'm saying? Here you go, right here. Let me finish this. For when shall be the end of the first? Remember, Esau was born first. And this is talking about the end of time. That what for when? This is a prophecy pertaining to actually us going into the kingdom of heaven. Yep. For when shall be the end of the first, and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel. Of Esau. Yeah, because when they was born, right, when they came out, Jacob was holding on it. Because Esau came out first, and Jacob was holding on to his heel. That was a prophecy. Okay, because that, that predicted, uh, like I said, read that again. That tells you right there. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. The beginning of it that follows. So soon, right? That's why we've been telling people Americans about getting destroyed. It's the end of the world as you know it. It's just a wrap. It's just going to get destroyed. Oh, it, the nukes is about to be flying. It's going to start raining missiles. And the world don't mean a whole Oh, yeah, the whole world ain't going to blow up. It's the end of an era. An era is coming to an end. Just like a. Uh, you, like had, the, um, you had the, the Hellenistic Renaissance period. Well, you had the Hellenistic era. You, you had the Roman Imperial era. Do you, do you, you had the Christian era. You want to know something that's kind of crazy? Uh, so, the creator of Google, their page, yeah. uh, he was doing this TED interview. He was talking about how he would rather give all his money to the guy, the guy who had a better successful all because he believes him giving him money to the person who is trying to create like a business or basically really wants to give him money so he can colonize Mars. <laughs> but he wants to do that instead of giving it to a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. because he just thinks that that business is not the most effective. What if it isn't like you all the rich people in Mars? They just live going to Mars. You know, they they can't even, they can't, they. They haven't even been to the moon. I know that, but I'm just saying, well, I don't know about that. Well, they have, but I'm saying there's like, they're just saying, I think it's real interesting. I'm someone, I don't know what No, I mean, I'm into all that. We, we, we stay up on every conspiracy theory. We know about I all that. I don't even really know. Conspiracy theories, conspiracy facts. Yeah, we into everything. You know what I'm bro. saying? We, you know, right. You we know, can't. we know, we've heard all that. We, they got plans. The boat, uh, we've heard of plans of the elite blowing up the earth and hiding out in the space station. Right, right. <laughs> you I know mean, what I'm saying? But first of all, they can't go to the moon or anywhere else in the, in, in the universe. It's a barrier. You, you can't, you gotta build up a, a spaceship made out of lead. And how heavy would that be? Up, you man? can't even lift it, you won't even lift off the earth. You know what I'm saying? They can't build a rocket, you know. You, you can't go to the space without that. That's right, to protect you from that radiation. You ever heard of the Van Allen radiation belt? It's called a Van Allen radiation belt. It's the radiation belts that's surrounding the Earth. That's protecting the Earth from gamma rays, Comet. just Meteor. whatever's out there. All that when meteor go do it, it burns the fuck up. <laughs> burns just the fuck yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? That's why sometimes you see a flash. It burns. Well, I appreciate it.
Yeah, we're going to Yeah, you can, you can look up again on YouTube. I don't know what it is. How you doing, brother? What's up, man? Did you find it? Uh, get on Twitter. And just look up. Uh, Say something about Instagram? Uh, you, on, you got a Twitter account, whatever? Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, we're kings of the earth. That's, the Lord is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. So he's the king. If he's the king of kings, that means he's the king over us and we're going to be kings. Hey, hey, let me get one Two more scripture. Nerds. Hey, get uh, Ezra's two real quick. One more scripture before you leave. Because the Lord said he's going to put crap.